Well, before we go over anything else, let's talk about the breadboard first and what exactly it is and how does it work. This is a common electrical engineering breadboard and we use this for building circuits. Um, this is a normal size for breadboard. Some breadboards are smaller than this. A uh, few, few of them are bigger than this depending upon the complexity of your circuit. Um, let's go over the physics of the breadboard. It's just a platform we use, or you can say it's a device or just a plate we use to build circuit. Um, as you can see, there are really small, really small uh, holes, a number of holes all over the breadboard. And let's go over the middle section first. There's a, there's a line which is basically dividing this breadboard right here. Um, and the middle section is connected vertically and what I, what I mean vertically is if you flip it I just ripped off the back so that we can see how exactly they're connected inside the middle part is connected vertically and this is the line which is dividing that means these two part these two sections are not connected to each other but they are connected within vertically if I flip it back as you see the top part and the bottom part they are connected horizontally as you can see right here and while when we go over how to build the circuit and then we'll go over Ohm's law we'll show how these holes uh, when you connect different wires and different components inside the breadboard um, how they are actually connected automatically to each other and we don't even require a wire. Uh, but this is the main physics of the breadboard and it is widely used because it's really simple and we don't require a number of wires to connect small components.